Okay, we'll do a little diff testing here just to see how much slippage there is. Kind of bummed out right now. I had this thing almost done and then my phone started ringing. I'm doing this with my phone. So, At any rate, at the track, diff settings, suspensions, you boy, you name it, man. I raced with a guy named Razathorn. You've probably seen him on the internet. This guy is... Well, he's really good with suspensions and setups and stuff. But we get into some pretty good conversations where we race at. I can't remember who taught me this. It probably 14, 15 years ago. I've been racing probably 15 or 16 years. But this is this is how you're you're supposed to table test your diff, or the most proper way to do it. Let's put it that way. Just lazy, just a lazy spin. Here's the mark I put on my tire so we can kind of see where it's at. Now I just gave it a pretty, pretty good spin. Every time I do it, I'm going to want to try to do that every time. Now I'm just going to try to let the weight roll off. I'm just going to try to let the weight of my finger roll off the tire. And we're going to say that's almost three quarters of a rotation. Do it again. Just gonna let the weight roll off the tire. That wasn't quite half, so it's it's you're just gonna have to get an idea. You're it's gonna be real difficult without a torque with some sort of a torque wrench to know how much torque you've got against that diff. But if you're table testing it, you just give it a little spin, just a lazy spin. There's about five eighths between that, you know, half and five eighths. Probably about five eighths again. About three quarters. Now I know I just, you might not have noticed it, but I know I just gave it a little more of a spin that time. You know, I'm just trying to do a lazy spin. I'm not wanting to sling it. If you do it like that, Man, you're gonna have every guy at the track gonna go. No, I seen it. It was ten times. It turned ten times, and the guy on the other side of the track's gonna swear it was two rotations. And so you gotta do you gotta do the lazy spin. There you go. That's how you do it. Now, if we're talking to each other on the point two thread or on the internet, or whatever. We're on the same page. We know that it's pretty much a box stock setting right there. That the front is 100% the way the box tells me to build my diff. That's the way I always run my front. It's consistent all the time. I just know to do it that way every time. Now let's say I tell you I spun this and it was a half a rotation. I just slung it. And it stopped right there. Half a turn. Well, that would mean my diff was really, really tight. And I would have to hold the spur gear in order to spin the tire. Because that magnet doesn't have enough resistance for that. Because mine's box stock setting and I can barely get that thing to spin unless I really, I gotta really, you know, twist that baby to get that to spin so there you have that half a rotation now obviously if it was a little tighter it may not be a half a rotation it may be a quarter or whatever but at least I would know what you were saying you would know what I was saying and there you have it while we're at it though <laughs> On my rear one, I like it a little looser. And I just feel, I just, I like the, the feel if the front's a little tighter, I get a little push going into the turn and I, and I, and I get a really good pull coming out, but it's still working into, independently. That, that diff's working. It almost kind of feels like I got an anti roll bar on the front it, when I go into the turn. And, uh, 
the rear I like a little looser because it, I want it to work a little more. I just want it to work more independently because it, it gives you just a little bit more grip in the apex. It just it just feels like it's not wanting to let go and spin out and ready to square up coming out. And it's just I mean it's I mean everybody's got a little different driving style and everything. You, you'll see the pros run tight tight, which would probably in my mind mean box stock box stock setting snug and back it off and my guess would be they're running on a real high bite uh, track uh, some real good grip this side of carpet our track has good grip but as the night goes on depending on the water regiment they might run two rounds, and but every round it gets worse as far as the traction. It gets drier. Then in the third round, they might not water at all, but water for the main. So you might go through a lot of changes on the traction. This works real well for me on our track. And this setup just works good for me on, my, on our track. If the track's real dry, the, the setup, the way my diffs are, as far as setup, I should say, I got a lot of steering. And that's combined with everything, of course. But as the track gets drier in the night, these super softs, I, they just, they give me good pull coming out, good, good grip going in hard into the turn. I can power in a little harder. But let's say the traction's real high, it'll feel a little bit like it's got a lot of oversteer or it'll be a little loopy. I can change that to a soft tire. This is a super soft, I change it to a soft. And it's just the opposite. It puts me pretty much right back to the same feel as my diffs give me right now just by simply changing them front tires. And it, it works really good for me. Uh, gives you guys something to think about, something to work on, you know. And uh, you can never mess with this stuff enough on practice nights. I tell you, practice, practice, practice. Try, try stupid things. Turn the shocks upside down and put them on the front and put them on the back. Do anything you can on practice day to try that stuff. And, and you'll see what I mean, that you'll just... Eventually, after I'd say after about a good solid year of racing, you just kind of you just get to where you know your car real good, you know what you like, your driving style, your throttle input, your braking, it all just will come together, and it'll just feel right. You may be running an 80-pound spring on the front, and and running 15 laps, and the pros are running 30 laps. But you know what? You're going to enjoy driving that car. It's going to feel good to you, and and you're going to enjoy it. And you'll you'll know your car. You'll know how you like it. And uh, but uh, back to this. I'm I'm wandering here. <laughs> At any rate, lazy spin. Just a lazy spin. Don't want to get too crazy on it. And if you if you Remember, this is a lazy spin. I just did about huh, seven eighths of a rotation. The lazy spin. Where is it? Right about there. If you spin it like that, and you only get half a rotation, then you're definitely going to be having your hand on that there, on your spur, and that's way too tight. I don't. I don't even know if racing on carpet you would want it that tight. So, anywho, you guys take it easy. I'll see you on the point to, or read you on the point two thread. Later. <laughs>